Hi everyone, welcome back to BS Rambles and another one of my OP build guides. If you're familiar with my build guides, you probably know that the philosophy behind these build guides is a selfish one. These are high risk, high reward builds that will allow you to take the game into your own hands by making huge plays that will leave the enemy team traumatized. This Kyra build is no exception. This is a teamfight centric build focused on diving into the center mass of the enemy team creating hysteria with massive damage output, control, and some tankiness to pull you through the other side. This build features one of the sweetest combos and most fun ever to grace Heroes of the Storm in comboing revolving sweep into unrelenting strikes. And I can't wait to tell you more about it, so let's dive right into the build. At level 1 we're going to take Fatal Wounds. This makes it so that while Blood Rage's bleed is at maximum stacks on an enemy, it will do 50% increased damage while they are below 50% health. Furthermore, after damaging enemies 150 times with the bleed, the duration will be increased by 2 seconds. You're going to get a crap load of value out of this talent over the course of the game. You will see that this build puts out ability damage en masse to the enemy team and also tends to cut through the first 50% of their health right off the bat, so the bonus damage can start hammering out quickly. This quest is very easy to complete and the benefits of this talent are passive and fit this build perfectly, meaning that you won't need to alter your playstyle at all to take full advantage of this talent. At level 4 we are going to take our first talent that will directly add to the wombo combo that we want, and that is through ensnaring swing. This slows the primary target of revolving sweep by 25% while you are swinging, and slows enemy heroes hit by the swing by 35% for a whopping 3 seconds. At face value this provides lots of control, but later it's going to synergize perfectly with the playstyle and combo that we are executing, and this will make more sense in a moment, so let's continue on. At level 7 we'll take Siphoning Link, which is another talent which will directly synergize with the intended playstyle of this build. Siphoning Link makes it so damaging a hero with either the initial impact or revolution of Revolving Sweep will cause Kyra to heal for 100 health over 4 seconds. Here's your first taste of becoming really beefy in this build. Because our playstyle is going to involve diving into the mass of the enemy team to deal maximum damage and create the most disruption possible, this talent just works perfectly. You should be targeting your revolving sweep for center mass of the enemy team with this build already, and now you're going to be rewarded for it with some pretty significant self healing that scales well with how crowded a situation you're putting yourself in. It's going to synergize extremely well with your ultimate as well as ensnaring swing at level 4, as well as some other talents that will come in a moment. But first, the core of this build, your heroic ability. At level 10 we'll be taking Unrelenting Strikes, which is a channeled AoE hitting all enemies in a radius around Kyra for 46 damage every 0.5 seconds for 2.5 seconds and growing as it channels. Upon expiring there will be an additional 86 damage to all heroes in range as well as a 0.75 second stun. We go with Unrelenting Strikes here because it's going to deal the most total damage to the enemy team. The cooldown being 75 seconds isn't so bad because this build is intended to make you a beast in teamfights specifically, and typically there is going to be enough time between those major engagements to allow unrelenting strikes to come off cooldown. Your level 4 and level 7 talents combo with this perfectly because if you land the right revolving sweep you will not only be in the perfect position for your heroic ability, but you will be attacking slowed enemies to guarantee max value and you will also have a significant amount of self healing coming in to ensure that you're not going to get bursted down during the ability's cast time. As an added bonus the heal over time aspect of siphoning link will bait your enemies into thinking that you're low enough to be killed, when in reality you still have a significant amount of sustain incoming and they're really just increasing the chance that they take the full damage of this heroic including the 0.75 second stun at the end. Unrelenting Strikes hits in quick succession, applying stacks of Blood Rage's bleed and cutting enemies health down to get even more value out of Fatal Wounds from level 1. This is already perfect synergy between all of your talents and it feels badass to execute. With this revolving sweep into Unrelenting Strikes combo, you already have the core combo of this build, and the other talents come up all synergize beautifully into this combo until your damage output, control, and sustain are absolutely nuts. At level 13 we start executing the primary target of Revolving Sweep by taking Pulsing Pain. This makes it so the primary target of Revolving Sweep will take an additional 120 damage every time another enemy hero is hit by a revolution. Pulsing Pain fits so smoothly into this build that you're going to start exploding your primary target and probably not even realize why. The extra damage to the primary target of Revolving Sweep as well as your being placed directly on top of them is going to make it all the easier to execute them with Unrelenting Strikes 
which should always follow Revolving Sweep at the start of a teamfight. At level 16 we have some options, since all of your talent choices this tier will increase the effectiveness of Revolving Sweep and therefore synergize well with the talents that we already have. However, in most situations I recommend taking Booming Kick, which increases the stun duration of the reactivation of Revolving Sweep by 0.25 seconds and makes it stun nearby enemies as well. This extra lockdown works great to better hold enemies in place for unrelenting strikes, stops you from taking damage since the nearest enemies are stunned, and it gives your teammates an opportunity to get in on the combo as well. If you're having trouble being bursted down by the enemy, an alternative here could be to take Swing Life away, which reduces the cooldown of Revolving Strike and gives you 2 seconds of 50% spell armor following the reactivation. That should be enough to push you through the enemy burst and allow you to get value out of unrelenting strikes if you were previously having trouble with dying. I only recommend taking this if you really need it, because our level 20 talent will serve a very similar purpose. And since I said level 20 talent, we might as well talk about it. At level 20, things get insane. We will be taking Silent Killer, which makes us the initial cast of unrelenting strikes silences all nearby enemy heroes for 2 seconds and all damage against enemy heroes with this ability reduces its cooldown by 3 seconds. In this build you already have the survivability and utility that is going to set you up for the perfect opportunity to get into the main mass of your enemies to execute the perfect ultimate, and now those enemies are going to be silenced for 2 seconds as well. That means you're likely in very little to no danger of being countered with burst, and in conjunction with their being slowed by 35%, they will have no means of escaping either. This silence is why we're able to skip the spell armor from Swing Life Away at level 16 and instead take the more offensive and team friendly stun talent. The silence also gives your teammates an opportunity to capitalize on their useless opponents. Lastly, this late in the game you may well be coming up on more frequent teamfights, which means that the cooldown reduction given by this talent come in very handy to ensure that your insane AoE damage combo is going to be ready for every engagement. The cooldown reduction is actually a lot more significant than it sounds. If you can hit 4 enemies with the full duration of unrelenting strikes, it will be completely off cooldown and ready to use again. If you did manage to hit 4 enemies with the full duration, you probably already dominated that teamfight, but an instant recast should be enough to put the nail in their coffins and would probably call for some b-stepping so they remember your name. This build focuses on a very easy and very awesome combo which at the end of the game can be best summarized like this. On the engagement of a teamfight you hit your primary target with revolving strike, causing damage and slowing them by 25%. As you swing around them you heal for each enemy hit as you apply a 3 second 35% slow to them and on each hit pulse more damage through to that primary target. You reactivate Sweeping Strike, dealing more damage and stunning the primary target and their allies for 0.5 seconds. While your self heals pour in, you now activate Unrelenting Strikes from right on top of your primary target, silencing them and their allies for 2 seconds and pumping out massive damage while they are helpless to escape. As the silence ends after 2 seconds, they will have a half a second to escape, or they will be dealt an additional burst of damage and suffer an additional 0.75 second stun at the end of Unrelenting Strikes. After that, every enemy hero caught in the combo will have 5 stacks of bleed on them and likely be below 50% health, meaning value is pouring in from fatal wounds at level 1. Because you now have so many active bleeds on the enemy team, you can reactivate blood rage for a big dose of healing, which you may well need after being in the center of the enemy team for this long. The fact that this all happens on the initial engagement is freaking insane, and what buttons do you have to press again to make it happen? You hit your E for evolving sweep? Wait for the revolution to get value, then E again to reactivate, then R for your ultimate. E, E, R. It's that easy to execute this absolutely insane combo. After that, you can feel free to continue your onslaught. That might mean activating Blood Rage for a burst of heals, grappling to a new target to finish a kill, or even reactivating Unrelenting Strikes. Your options are still wide open because this combo only used 2 ability cooldowns. You still have 3 of your 5 abilities off cooldown to use at your discretion. Now, one little disclaimer here, I'm making this guide as Kyra is on the public test realm, so hopefully we don't see too many nerfs before she goes live and ranked, but if she does get through in her current state, this build is going to be absolutely nuts. Prior to level 20, the best answer will be stunning Kyra out of her ult, but once the silence comes in at level 20, it's going to be very difficult to deal with. I'll be frank, this is a one-dimensional build. 
It's an all or nothing strategy that hinges on your success. But that's what these OP build guides are about. Taking high risk, high reward builds that puts the success of the game into your own hands and allows you to carry. If you are still with me, thank you very much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please support me by doing the YouTube do, liking this video, subscribing to my channel, and if you want a further discussion, go ahead and leave a comment below. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great week.